Jeffrey. Oh. That he was gonna be Jeffrey anyway. jumps. Wesley, Wesley better all of a sudden, according to Verrugian, who's been watching this game. Definitely. As also Alex Linderman is on the pressure on the clock. Remember earlier we said that that pawn on A4 gave Black activity against the B pawn, right? So earlier right. White was kind of pushed back and we had more active pieces. But here's the flip side. If that activity doesn't result in anything, White you is going to be weakness. worse because of the split pawns. Black is going to be worse. You're absolutely That's right. Sorry. Yeah. Now, now, now here we have the bishops of opposite color. And the most important feature is the fact that these two pawns, the pawns on A4 and F5, are on light squares. So in a dream world, white would want to put his bishop on c6 as well as d7. So from d7, you're hitting both pawns. Uh, you might think that, okay, uh, you could also in a dream world put your bishop on c2, but then the bishop will go to d7, right? So here, if you could put the bishop on d7, force the black bishop uh, to c2, then you have a, a tempo like c3, c4. It feels so how do you do like, it? Yeah, it feels like this could be one of those winning bishop endings thanks to a Zugzwang uh, situation. Alex Lenderman in trouble here. As I, I hear you. Happiness. The only problem is the only problem is that when you get bishop, what is it, bishop d7 or bishop well, c2? I, I'll well, let's say you, I start with bishop d1. Uh, and I go to e8. Okay. I'm just going to wait go... for you to get to your point. Right? right. So here's what I was saying. So D7. So now in this position, you have to make a move that compromises yourself as well. This was so this the... is the point. C4 or H5 hangs one of your pawns. Right. That puts that makes me put one of my pawns on the light square. The difference exactly. though is is I'm the one dictating that reaction though, Maurice. So let's say at this position you're in Zugzwang, right? Now you have to go after the H pawn. So I'll take this guy. This He'll is the take game. My guy. This has just happened. And H5 go, is on the board. Right. And I'll go bishop to d7, right? And my idea is, of course, I want to take a pawn. You know that already. But my deeper idea is I want to go f5, bishop e6, and f6. Aren't I went, oh, Wesley said h7 is the dream square. Well, the problem Isn't was that? the problem was Bishop D7, and I think it's going to be the same problem here. Bishop, Bishop D7, D I think, is meant by Bishop D1, and if you play F5, I switch back and play Bishop G4. Well, that's my point. When I'm not on E6, you have a six. Sorry. Yeah, right. but I'm not. No, no. When my Bishop's not on E6, I go and and look at that. Uh, in fact, what happened was the Bishop, the Black Bishop was not going to be able, after Wesley's bishop h7, to hold up the pawn, recognizing this, Lenderman retreated with his king and oh, brought his I king. I like this. Great defense. Great over defense. To get in into the square of the pawn. Now he's got an h pawn. That's right. Great defense. Beautiful wow. defense. Well done by Lenderman. Yes, you got what you could get out of it but now it's my turn and your pawn's going nowhere. You might get a pass B pawn, but the bishop on H5 will handle your pass B pawn or C pawn. But in the meantime, hello, welcome to the H party. As, is Harry and... the name of both H pawns? Like I know Harry the H pawn for white, but it seems like if you're black, you don't want the name Harry because Harry is the, 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 the white, white H pawn. Right, you want to be Harold. <laughs> like you want to be a Harold, not just a Harry, a Harold. I'm I'm going for Hakeem. Hakeem. Hakeem the dream like, Elijah Hakeem the dream Elijah one. And that H pawn is a dream right now. It's getting the counterplay for black as the pawn flies down the board and says to White, mm, sorry, you're not just queening yourself. You're gonna have to respect my pawn as well. And exactly. it looks very much like he should be able to hold this. Now, that said, he can't afford to lose the C pawn without some kind of comp. Oh, well, this, this should be enough compensation. I'm Bishop just... G2 is, is netting a piece. And right. it should be just fine for this bishop and king combination to draw this game. 
Well, that's right, Ed. We, By the way, we got a draw in Ramirez's game as well. So indeed, Jeffrey Zhang looking like he will be the sole leader after this game. Well, which game was it from one of our earlier national championships? Wasn't it a ladies game where where uh, one player forced the win of a piece for some pawns, but then the pawns went through? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, was, was that it? Talia? Talia is what I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm just I, I'm just seeing echoes of that U.S. championship game where you know somehow Black Bishop never really uh, froze the pawns. Now, of course, uh, maybe it was Annie versus Jen potentially. I think Jen maybe was worse, and then suddenly Annie overpressed, and it was like a bunch of pawns versus a knight or something. <laughs> right, something yeah, of that nature. Fun. Yeah. yeah well. One, here we see the king is actually beautifully mm. blocking the the uh, defending king. Now, obviously, if your defending king was on c6 and your bishop was on b5, it'd be no problem. But can we get there? I think we can. Bishop, bishop b5 just played. Whoa! And the bar the just bar, went nuts. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, it no. It went through the roof. Oh no, uh, did he blunder? I'm sure he did. After, uh, His bishop was on the wrong diagonal, people. His bishop is probably on the wrong uh, diagonal. Uh, but what else would you have played there? That's I confusing because now yeah. comes king b7 and I think it's over. That's uh, what it is. is. That's exactly what it is. He blew it. He should have been he should have allowed himself to be able to play bishop back to b to g2 to stay on the diagonal, right? Yeah, so you don't wow. want to get up close because then not only you get 10 feet once by the king, uh, but you know what guys, really what he needed was two minutes because- this, Yes, it, he what, was down on his clock. Or to have studied this end game like a week ago, just by fortune, right? Mm -hmm. As it seems a little bit weird. No, no, um, no, not a week ago, a long time ago. You've got to put <laughs> end games like this in your pocket. I meant reviewed it a week ago. Like, right. yeah, you know, because I, I no doubt, you know, he probably studied it at some point, but if it's not fresh in your mind, playing it with 10 seconds left on the clock, very, very difficult. And indeed, Wesley, so the second winner of this round. And I was just about to say, Maurice, you were right. They were all drawn. What a yeah. shocker. <laughs> Huge blunder. And we know the blunder 